This photograph shows a pile of shoes that was found at Auschwitz after the war. And while we don't know the exact height of the pile and how many shoes are there, it's so, it's amazing that the pile of shoes is taller than the building behind it. And just like with the shoes here at the museum that are on display, each shoe is different. Each one tells a different story. Some of them are sneakers or trainers and others are high heeled. We have work shoes and even shoes that belong to children. So they're much smaller. And each shoe in a way represents a human life. And it represents someone who was murdered during the Holocaust. And it begins to we can begin to imagine the scale of, of what happened and how many victims were there and how many people's lives were disrupted or completely ended by the Nazis and their, their program of mass murder and genocide. Another thing that's particular about the shoes is that the shoes themselves to the Nazis had more value than the human lives. If if people were unable to work and contribute to the Nazi war effort, they were considered useless and were sent to the gas chambers, whereas the shoes were confiscated and either were sent back to Germany to be worn by Aryans or German citizens, or the leather could be used to make other things. And because the shoes were, had some value to the Nazis that the people did not, the shoes were saved while their owners were, were murdered.